Welcome back to the channel. This is Jim and today I'm going to be installing something that I've been waiting for since the day I bought my GR Corolla. So I finally got my armrest in and so I'm going to go ahead and install that. I just was out for a drive and several times I kind of felt like you know, nothing was there when it should be. So I'm very excited to get this installed and uh, see and feel the difference when I'm out on drive. So with that being said, let's get started. Looky what arrived today. So this is our starting point here, all of our parts. So here is the pad. I just need to kind of pop that up with a little screwdriver here. It's just a rubber pad that sits at the bottom. Whoops, <laughs> elbow hit that. And as you can see, it's got these little tabs that fit down into the holes there. So that is out. Now we can insert the, the little clips that they provide right into these three holes. So these are the three little plastic tabs that they provide and they just snap in it's kind of dark in here but just snap in since they're white it's easy to see there we go so now we have our three clips inserted. So the next step is to take the adapter plate that they provide and you want to install this with, you see the white lettering here, so with the white lettering toward the back seat. So, and these three holes will end up being, the screws go into those white pieces. So. It just sits in that compartment just like that. And now I can screw the three screws to stabilize that. So in this next step, we're gonna be using four of these screws in this package that they provide. And we're going to be screwing this in. So if you notice on the right side of this picture, it's curved, that goes towards the front of the car. So, and these four holes line up with the plate that we just put in. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw those down next. And as a little clarification looking at this, you can see the holes right there, there's two there. I'm not talking about these tall posts, I'm talking about the holes at the actual base of it. So you see two of them right there, and then two of them right here, right where my thumb is pointing put some light on this for you so now you can see the there's the four screws so just snugged up by hand so we don't have to go crazy but this is very secure I feel no movement in it whatsoever the next step is to connect the slide base and you see this little tab right here, right here, that will face forward. So whichever way you're attacking this, make sure that's the forward piece. And you can see the entry for the slide, that faces to the back seat. And the front, it can only go forward so much with that. So, and once again, we'll use some of the provided screws. You see these other four slots there so that's where those attach into the tower pieces that we were just talking about previously so here is the slide piece installed and again you can see the four screws it's only going in plastic they don't need to be super tight so just snug by hand but once again this is not budging at all so and you can see 
the, the stops are toward the front and the open part of the slide is toward the back. So on the bottom of the armrest, you can see the two slide pieces, they're already attached. So all you have to do at this point is take this and slide it on the rail from the back and then put it wherever you want it to be. So I want to slide this on. There we go. Pull back a little bit here so you can see it. So there we go. I like that the white stitching matches the stitching in the seats. Actually, the seats are like gray kind of, but that, but it does look like it goes with it. So, and there is our armrest. So from where that's position two, it's not gonna bother the cup holders, which is nice, but just cruising now will be easy. Boy, and I can see how quick and easy it would be. If you didn't want it on there, <laughs> you can slide it off in mere seconds. The very last thing is they provide a little cover for the bottom of it. And there's four places where the screws hold on the slide rails there. So that's what those are for. And then four little pieces to level it out. <laughs> this will just drop right in here. There you can see those four. That just gives it a, a flat space there. So, all right, guys, that is it. That is how simple that is to install. And now to enjoy it from here on, I'm very excited. So thanks for joining me. Hope this helps for any of you that are debating getting it. The install was easy, removing it is easy. Put this down. There we go. The interior looks more complete now. So once again, thank you. That helps. Smash a like. Subscribe to me. Help me grow my channel. And until next time, we'll see you down the road.